for this one, we want to factor this. Whenever you have two squared values with a minus between, it's called a difference of squares. So what you're looking for is two squared things, and it's called a difference of squares. So to get this, what did I get? What did I square? What do you get? Four. That's two. And to get x to the sixth, well, isn't that going to be x to the third? Isn't that 2x to the third times 2x to the third? What did you square to get 81? That's y. What did you square to get y squared? That's y. So my answer is simply going to be those two pieces, 2x cubed minus 9y and 2x cubed plus 9y. It's a real simple factoring. All you have is basically 1 with the minus, 1 with the plus. You take your two pieces, A and B, 1 with the plus, 1 with the minus. One of the easier factorings once you get your squared values. Now, this looks a lot like this one right here, except I don't want to sit here and go 100 times 49. But what you should notice is these are squares. And if those are squared, there's a shortcut. If these are both squared, do you guys remember that you take the 10x, multiply it by the 7, and we get 70x. Now, is this half of that? If this number is half of the middle number, we can proceed. If not, we can't factor it. And so is this half of that? Yes. So because it is, we can proceed. And the answer is simply going to be, 10x and a 7 squared. Now, what's going to go in the middle? Well, since that's a minus right there, the middle is a minus. If that was a plus, the middle is a plus. Now, again, if this is not half of that, you have to stop. You can't factor it. This one. This is called a sum of cubes. This is x cubed. This is 3 cubed. And there's a formula we learned. A lot of people forget it. And it's simply going to be this plus this. Let's call it, this is a sum of cubes. So you put a plus a plus b. Then you go a squared plus ab. So multiply those two, which would be 3, 6. Actually, that should be a minus. Sorry. That's the key. That is a minus right there. And, and then you square the last piece. So you have plus, minus, plus. So it's a plus b, a squared minus ab plus b squared. And the last one, this one's also a difference of cubes. And uh, the way I know it is you just kind of got to break it down and realize this right here is 2x squared cubed. And this would be 5y cubed. So those are my two cubes. And it's a difference of cubes. It's very similar to this one, except the plus and minus is switch. So for this one, you're going to end up with 2x squared. And since this is a minus, the minus is first. So there's the first piece. And then you're going to have this squared, which would be 4x to the fourth. And then you multiply these two, which would be 10xy, and uh, then you square this one, which would be 25y squared, which falls off the edge of the screen. Okay, so that squeezes right in there. So that would be the answer. Kind of doesn't fit very good to this particular problem.